Hey, I'm just doing a quick time-lapse uh, compilation of just the two sketches that I've done in my book Delusional recently. Um, this is a, an art book full with uh, full of comics and illustrations, some color, some black and white, um, mostly like sketchbook and illustration stuff, but there's some, uh, you know, some comics. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I did this drawing recently and this one, and I'm just gonna show you the little process thing that I, I went to do them on. I originally uh, did a sketch in this one, a uh, pencil sketch. Normally it shows I'll do these uh, drawings just straight with a pen without doing any pencils first, but since these were ordered off my Patreon, I put a little more time into them. And uh, this one got uh, chewed up, I don't know if you can see the spine there, but it got chewed up by my, one of my cats who likes to, anything I leave out, likes to chomp on. So uh, I guess that one's just scoted. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, check this out. There's the little bite marks. And here's the uh, pencil sketch. And I I was watching Westworld and I was pretty into that cape thing that uh, one of the actors was wearing. It was like a cape blazer. <laughs> so I just drew that, but I ended up scrapping it for the redo. Uh, and here I'm drawing, I, I re-penciled it uh, in a new book that didn't have bite marks out of it. I think it's pretty much a very similar drawing sans the cape blazer, just like a normal jacket or relatively normal looking jacket. And I didn't change a whole lot. I think I added like some little weird little details here and there and made a second face. And it's like I kept the pencils relatively loose on the second go around so I could have more fun with inking. Seem to rely on a lot of the same things for years, just adding little robot parts. And you know, I, I think I put in a few more animals in this one. I like the way I drew the little fawn between the legs of the main guy better in the first one. But, and here's the pretty much finished drawing. I think the uh, person that asked for this one, or maybe the other one, I haven't written it in there yet but they asked for a quote in it in this next one i didn't have my iphone holder so i just had to take little process shots i was doing this at my friend's studio too so you can hear his voice and a lot of other ambient noises Oh, okay. So, about an hour and a half into it, I like even leaned over to turn on things, like, you know, and like bad setups and like, and it's like a sword and sorcery movie where they're like, is that like? Here's the finish of this guy. It's panning across it. It's weird robot creatures. All right, that's the uh, video for this time. Uh, it's short, shorter than the other ones so far. I just thought I'd show you my 
wrap it up here, show you my, the tools that I usually use. I use one of these uh, Faber-Castell pit pens. Uh, small is the size I usually do these sketches in, and sometimes I do XS. I think that stands for super fine. I don't know why. Uh, I just assumed it was small because, <laughs> um, but uh, I think this one's probably tips a little worn down. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's still fairly good, but I prefer if there's like a little bit of a, a point on it still. Um, it's a little worn down too, but uh, yeah, you can get these books off my Patreon. Um, I have them set up in my store, I think I do anyway, or plan on it. But uh, it's, they're set up on my Patreon, so if you want to just do for like a month, you can do like the $35 and anywhere in the U.S., I'll send it to you and do a sketching, sketching it for you. One of these, something like this, if you have a request, I can do a request. Both of these were the person just told me to do whatever I wanted, so I mean, this is what I ended up doing. It's kind of just weird sci-fi type thing. Um, so all right, that's it for this time. Uh, thanks a lot for checking this out. Check out my Patreon. It's Feral Dow. And it's my Instagram too, Feral Dow. And all right, see you later.